Hello, welcome back. Nearly time for afternoon tea because we're just about to drill the last piece of the puzzle for our cake stand. Hi, Jill Tisbury here. Welcome back to Fired Glass. Um, this is part two of our cake stand video. Um, if you remember, we used twisties to create um, the three levels of our cake stand. Um, what I actually did was put the twisties on this side um, and I full fused it so that it's uh, reasonably flat. Um, but just to make sure if you're going to use um, glass, you need to make sure that um, the glass you're using is obviously not necessarily going to be toxic and some glasses um, you do have to cap them um, so I what I did is just simply turned it over to slump it um, so this is what would have been the bottom side of the glass so it's quite happy with how it's come out um, so we've got our three pieces I have already as you can see done the base piece and the top piece I have a confession about the base piece that I'll tell you about in a little while. Um, but I'm really happy with how these have turned out. I've drilled the bottom two, um, so I've got my Dremel, and I'm gonna show you how we drill a hole in the glass. First of all, um, you'll notice that I did draw across here. So obviously went straight the way across um, to make our center point there. And I've put a piece of masking tape on here, um, which helps us immensely when we come to drill, because um, it can help to stop your drill from, um, your actual drill bit, um, from skating all over the place. And I've also put a hole in there, roughly about the size that I want as well. Um, so this has got to take um, the top of our cake stand. So when you look at that drill um, diameter, uh, sorry, that piece diameter, it needs to go through your drill hole. So what have we got here then? Well, it's a weird setup, but trust me, it works. So um, this is one of my storage boxes from my um, storage cabinet. Um, which doubles up as a little drill pot. Um, so it's got about uh, three quarters of an inch of water, a couple of centimetres of water. And it's got a sponge in here, which is also soaked up quite a lot of water. You don't need massive amounts. And I'm going to sit that on top. And what I'm also going to do is just pour a little bit of water onto my um, glass. Now, this works for any piece that you're doing. Um, if I was doing smaller bits, if I was doing jewellery, I'd use my Dremel stand. Um, so if you've got one of these, this is a, a really useful bit of uh, kit for drilling holes, obviously. Um, this can go in a, a stand that clamps it and then you've got a handle that you pull down and uh, it keeps it still as you drill holes in jewellery. Because jewellery being tiny, um, sometimes it's hard to keep hold of. Um, so how does this work? Well. I noticed there were a few questions around on the forums recently about how you actually put a drill bit in here. So let's talk about drill bits. This one, this particular one, has got a press button chuck. So press the button. Actually, what you need to make sure is just there's like a little pin in there and it, um, it grabs onto um, this shaft in the middle. And when you do that, you can easily take your uh, drill bit out. So the drill bit I'm using, I'm going to show you the drills. They're down here. So you'll see there's two drill bits there. There's a pointy one, which is the one I'm going to start out with. And then there's um, a sort of flat end drill, which is a bit um, thicker. And that's the one I'm going to widen the hole with. So we need the pointy end drill. So this is the one I'm going to use. Um, it's not terribly deep. Um, so you just need to make sure that you get the hole started pop that in there, twist um, the chuck, pass it to the cameraman because make sure that he tightens it up for me. <laughs> you need to make sure these things are tight and I'm just using a, a, a towel here to grab hold of it, but I normally ask John. Now, just test it. And all you're looking for there is making sure that that's not wobbling all over the place. If it's wobbling all over the place, it's not really um, in there tight enough. But this seems to be OK. 
Now, you also have a speed indicator on here. Um, I'm not sure actually what this means. It just means speed two, four, six and whatever. Um, what you want to do when you're drilling glass is to make sure that you drill it on a low speed. The reason we've got water in here is that heat gets generated just like it does in your kiln when you've obviously got the friction of the drill bit on the glass heat gets generated um, so you don't want that heat to crack your glass um, so that's why we've got the water the sponge um, just helps um, that that water doesn't go away because obviously as soon as you drill the hole the water goes through the hole um, and it's also absorbing a bit of that shock um, so we're going to drill on a slow speed. Now, if you do have an RPM on here, around about 400 RPM is, is what you want. But I'm just going to simply go to the first one. So you can see mine's got quite a range of uh, speeds on there. So we're going to um, drill this. It's quite straightforward. Make sure that you can actually, when you hold your drill um, on here, you, you're going to start the drill off the glass and then you're going to slowly lower to the glass. Um, make sure that you're nice and solid. You don't want to be skating all over the place. So if we're good to go, pointy drill. I'm going to put safety goggles on. Um, to do that I always forget these because I wear glasses but yeah got my safety goggles on and are we good to go Ooh. Now hopefully you heard that noise and it changes as soon as you start going through the glass and you can probably see there, or just about see there if I, it's full of water, um, but I have actually gone not quite all the way through, although it has come through slightly, but this is a, a tapered drill. So I'm just going to drill it a little bit more to make sure the hole's all the way through and then I'm going to swap the drill bit. You just heard that go through, just dry my hands. Change the drill bit. Let's get that one out. Pop that one back and we'll have this one. So this is um, a much fatter one. I'll show you this one in a minute. Let's get that chuck to engage. Tighten it up. Hopefully that's tight enough so hopefully you can see that that's a much much fatter um, drill bit and that's going to go through and widen the hole so I don't want to go down into here I'm just going to see if I can get a bit more water in there I want to kind of go around to, to get that hole a little bit bigger I don't want to go too big, but you can see the holes um, already gone through there. Um, I just want to make sure that it's going to go on here. This is not going to fit quite at the moment, but you can hopefully see um, the hole size just needs a little bit more on here. So let's give it a little bit more. Let's get some water in there. I think that's probably it. So I'll just dry this off a little bit, check that it fits. Yay! There we go. So let's dry this off and we can put this together.
Let's get rid of that. Move this over here. Out of your way. You can almost taste the scones, can't you? Right. So this was Sharpie pen that I used. Um, so Sharpie pen just simply wipes off with a bit of elbow grease. If um, it doesn't come off, then you can um, use acetone um, on there, just a nail polish remover, um, and it really quickly just wipes the whole thing off. There we go, as you can see. And if you use acetone, it sometimes smells, so give it a little wash. And I'm obviously gonna wash this before I put cakes on it. Let's get rid of that over there. Woohoo! Okay, so um, the pieces that come with your cake stand uh, fittings, let me just move this over here. I've got a piece of uh, tissue under this for the moment. Um, the pieces that come with it are in three parts, as you saw in part one of the video. Um, and you have a metal uh, washer, so that metal washer goes on here. You then have um, a little polypropylene washer that goes on there. Your piece goes on and another polypropylene washer. So I'm going to have these at slight angles. I'm going to put this on. Those two polypropylene washers um, allow you to tighten it up. Don't tighten too much because you don't want to crack your glass. But they do allow you to go a bit tighter on there. There we go. Woohoo! Marvellous. Good. So we're all good for afternoon tea. So, a bit of a confession. What you want to have is bump stops on the bottom of here because you can see that this screw actually stands proud. So I thought, well, that's great. I've got bump stops. I'll put them on. But my bump stops aren't big enough. So we've got a bit of a wobbly stand at the moment. So I'm going to order some bigger bump stops. I think that needs um, twisting, tightening up. I need Mr. Cameraman on, on the job here for this, I think. Um, but once these are tightened, I'm a bit frightened to, to tighten too much. Once these are tightened, oh, there we go. Then they look nice. And I like these on angles. But yeah. Great little project and a great way to use your twisties. And once you've got bigger bump stops, um, you can get them from Warm Glass, by the way. Um, I think you can get them DIY stores as well. Um, pop them on the bottom and you'll have a, a solid um, cake stand. You could, um, as another idea, tack fuse um, before you slump it. You could tack fuse beads on the bottom. But what you want is something to make um, the, the stand be able to stand on its own rather than pivot on that um, little thing there, that little screw there. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'll be even happier once I've got bump stops on it. Um, but there you go, summer's coming, so get your cake stands out. Lovely. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. It's a bit of fun and it's a good way of using up your um, twisties. Um, so don't forget to um, click the like button, give us some comments, um, Maybe tell me your ideas for what you do on the base of this to make it solid. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you hit the bell um, up the top, I think it's up that top, isn't it? Um, you'll never miss a video again. So see you next time. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.